Okay, this is part of my, um, see how fast I can do a WordPress uh, raw series where I just put up a site as quick as I can. I'm going to run into errors while I do this because um, it's just in the moment, okay? So I'm going to click plus. I'm in Flywheel, which is um, a local WordPress uh, website developer. So you develop it on your own computer, then upload it. Um, okay. So, all right, let's, what am I going to call this? I'm going to call this Tim's hat one cycling.com and we're going to hit continue and we're going to do custom here. Okay. So PHP version looks good. Uh, I host through HostGator and GoDaddy. I started with HostGator just, just this past week. Um, but both, both HostGator and GoDaddy uh, run on Apache servers for the shared version, which is what I'm using. Okay, so that looks good. Um, all right, so type in a username, a password. Uh, this will change. Okay, and then um, an email. Okay. Uh, we're not going to save it as default. I'm going to say yes. I can make save, uh, changes to my website. And it's provisioning. I'm going to try and get this done within the next half an hour. It's 9.15 now, so let's see if we can get it done in a half an hour because it's Friday night and i got better things to do. Um, let's see if we can get it done, and then I'll upload it later, um, or I'll export the file, and I'll show you that in a minute. So it's adding WordPress. It's taking its time. Do, 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 do. Um, so you can download Local by Flywheel. You just Google Local by Flywheel. It's good for Windows or Mac. Um, and very easy. To download. Uh, you may have to enable some things on your computer, but you can just Google that too. It's straightforward. Cool thing about Flywheel that I found out this week, uh, you can share a link. So if you're building a site for someone, you can come up with a short link of a site you build on your computer, share it. Uh, like, let's say you're a website designer and you have a client and you want them to see what you're working on, but you don't want it to be live yet. You can share it and it's it's really good. Um, so that that's a cool advantage of local by Flywheel. All right. I am just talking because this is taking a while to install WordPress. Um, WordPress is a great platform. I I do websites with WordPress. I do websites with uh, I've done with Drupal and Joomla. Worked with that, um, and and a lot of the other systems. But WordPress just has so many developers working on it. You don't have to do all the code all on your own, which is amazingly good. Okay, so let's uh, go to the admin. All right. So this is you know again on my computer. Just using Chrome. Okay. All right. And okay. <laughs> we are logging in. And I remembered my password. Yes. That's pretty awesome. All right. Um, okay. So now I'm going to get a plugin. Uh, I'm going to add a new plugin. It's going to have to download it from the internet so it won't make it as fast. Uh, it's all in one. Okay. On one WP migration. I'm going to install that. Okay, activate it. Okay. All right. Um, okay, and then we're going to import from a file. On my desktop, uh, there we go. 
Now this is importing from my uh, install on HostGator. So I installed WordPress with their one-click install on HostGator, which was very easy. Um, so far, the people at HostGator have been very helpful. I've just signed up for them this week. Um, it's been very easy. Okay, I'm going to overwrite. Yes, I'm going to proceed. Okay, and I'm going to overwrite it back when I reinstall it online, um, which won't be on the video. It's it's very simple. You just import file that we're going to export from this and maybe i'll do a separate video on that but not right now just because of uh, security reasons and whatnot um, but I, i'm hoping these tutorials will help people who are interested in website design uh, i'm starting a side business i'm a high school teacher normally but i want to make a little bit extra and this is my hobby so i'm going to start a side business called uncurt web design um, you know and uh, just help out small businesses with web design and maybe make a little bit extra money that I can put away um, for retirement. So that's my only real ambition for this. But I, I want to help people because getting your product or your your service out there will make the world a better place um, for the most part, hopefully. So, um, all right. So it is bringing in the files. Now, when you install with HostGator or uh, you know, some of the other hosts, they, they have their plugins that they give you. GoDaddy has some certain plugins. GoDaddy has been great as well. Um, they give you certain plugins. Uh, HostGator gives you some different ones. Uh, and you can choose whether to use those or not. I kind of like to just use my own. Um, there's one called Hello Dolly. It's supposed to be a, I don't know, a kind of thing that gives you a nice message across the screen. I'm sure it's nice and it's good intentions, but it's not really useful. And it's just extra code and you don't want the extra code because then it slows down your website and that affects um, your SEO ranking. So you don't want it, your website to be too slow with bloated plugins. So I will delete some plugins from this. And a plugin, just to let you guys know, a plugin is code that you can download and install. It hooks in with PHP uh, to your website. And WordPress is a great system because you can you can basically find anything you want. Uh, it's probably been developed to help build your business website or your personal blog or whatever. This is gonna be more of a personal blog. All right, so your data has been imported successfully. Let's close. Let me refresh this. Okay, so it's going to have me log in again. I'm going to log in as Cat One Cyclist and put my password in that I took from uh, the online install. Okay, so now I've got all this stuff. All right, so this is what um, this is what HostGator will give you. Uh, they have this marketplace thing. Da, da, da. Let's see what installed plugins we have because I'm going to get rid of some. Okay, so we have Jetpack. Hello, Dolly. Delete that. Gone. Google Analytics work for WordPress by Monster Insights. I will set that up uh, maybe a later video. Uh, I'm not going to use Jetpack. That's supposedly a great plugin, but uh, I don't really need it. Okay. Deleting that. This Mojo Marketplace Opter Monster API uh, Word Fence. They have that. That's awesome. They have that installed already. Um, I install Word Front Fence. Um, usually, that that's great. Actually, um, and the Forms plugin. Okay. You know, some of these I haven't really gone through that much. Uh, Askamet is good for. Um, keeping spam away from your blog. So you see HostGator kind of sets you up a little bit, pretty good for WordPress to start off. And, and Jetpack is probably pretty good. Uh, I'm gonna add some new ones, some new plugins. Uh, and one is gonna be that, uh, you know, this is something that Jetpack does, but um, limit logins. And it's probably gonna give me like a limit logins, um, Reloaded. That's when I want to install. 
So this just keeps the bots, the uh, computer programs going from uh, what they call brute force attacks on your website, which is trying to hack your website by just, you know, guessing at the password over and over again. This will lock out stuff that has gone for more than a few attempts. Now, WordFence does protect against that as well, but this is kind of like a double layer of protection. There's also, if you Google, you can Google hardening WordPress and um, figure out that way. Uh, we can configure, this might work offline, I'm not sure. Um, okay, so we're gonna continue. Uh, changes have not taken effect. So I'm not sure that that, I may have to click on that once I get that live um, as well. All right, so tried to configure WordPress, Word fence, okay. Uh, we can try constant contact for free. That's a way to build up a following. Okay, but let's let's um, let's get the rest of our my plugins, and then we'll start building up the site because we're now at nine twenty four. So we're nine minutes in. Okay, so um, one thing I'm going to do is super socializer. Uh, I'm going to search for that. Okay. And I'm installing that. And WP Fastest Cache is also a good one. But uh, as you'll see, we have uh, catch, caching uh, set on the HostGator install. So it's built up again to um, run well. Okay. All right. So I'm going to activate this. And I'll play with Jetpack on some further ones. But this one... I want to activate this because I want to be able to, okay, server is unavailable. Well, this is my first thing that I've run into, problem, and I may need to stop the video at this point, but no, okay, we're still going. All right, so let me see, Did that allowed me to do that. Okay, uh, it allowed me to do that. That was a little odd, but it's a quirk. Okay, um, let's do social sharing. Let's take a look. What do we want? Do we want it round? No, that looks stupid. We're going to have a rectangle. Okay. And let's see. Uh, standard interface. Let's go here. What do we want? Do we want what's up? No, I don't know about that. Stumble upon? No. Facebook, Twitter, LinkedIn? Yes. Uh, Google Plus? Sure. Delicious? No. Pinterest? Yes. Okay. And we want it at the bottom of the content. We want it in the center. We don't want it at the top. I don't want it at the top. You can do whatever you want. Uh, I just want it on posts. I don't want to enable the more icon. I want to give you less choices because uh, if you give the major ones, it's actually people will share it more than if they have too many choices. There's been uh, scientific studies on this. Um, don't quote me on that. I just read it somewhere. Okay, so uh, <laughs> enable floating interface. Yes, I want that. Um, what do I want? I want the same stuff. I don't want stumble upon WhatsApp. Uh, I want, don't want Reddit. I do want LinkedIn, Google plus I want Pinterest. Pinterest is good from what I'm the, the scoop on YouTube. Pinterest is good for, um, getting people to your blog. I don't want it on pages though. I don't want it on the homepage. I just want on posts. I don't want to enable the more icon. Uh, that sounds good. That sounds good. And that sounds good. Now I'm going through this very fast. Uh, I understand that. But the thing about WordPress is you can get your hosting for a very cheap price. Uh, you can host for, if you buy a three-year plan, you can host for less than $100 a year. Um, get your domain name for about $15 a year. So you're maybe, if you're buying a three-year plan, you can get some deals. Whatever company you go with, whether it's GoDaddy, HostGator, Bluehost, etc., you can get uh, one domain hosting for about $3 a month and then then the $15 for the domain name. Um, so it's very cheap. If you want to do multiple domains, I, I have unlimited for both HostGator and GoDaddy. And you can do that for about 70 to 80 bucks a year. That's $15 a year or so for each um, domain. So it's very simple. All right. So I like that. Let me save my changes here. It's taking us time to you okay all right and let's see did i save my changes here it looks like i did okay so now let's see what other 
what plugins do we have? What do we want? Um, we can worry about the fastest cache later, all that stuff. We've got the sharing one, which is great for a blog. So you can share your blog to Facebook, whatever. Uh, limited logins. We've got the word fence. They give that to you. Um, okay. The one more one that I want. The one, that's not really good grammar. Whatever. Um, an additional one that I want to, to bring this out from a local host back to online is going to be the all-in-one uh, WP migration. And I've got that. Okay, I installed it. I forgot about that. All right. Um, okay, so we've got all this stuff. Um, so let's go to appearance. Okay, themes. All right. Right now we're rocking the 2017 WordPress theme. It's okay, but that's not what I want. I want a blog type theme. And so I'm going to go down here and click this add new. And we search and there's a theme called chip life that I, I really think is kind of cool. And I'm gonna install that one. And it's installing it from online. It's a free WordPress theme. It's perfect for a blog. It's simplistic, but it says to me, Cat One Cyclist. It's very classy. Um, which Cat One Cyclists are? Okay, so I'm going to activate this. And again, the theme is HTML and CSS code uh, that has PHP hookins that allow that work with WordPress. And in future videos, I will show you how to make your own theme for. WordPress, but for this one, honestly, Chip Life is good. All right, so let's click on Customize. So we got about 15 minutes left for me to say, eh. Okay, so menus. All right, let's view the location. We don't have any menus, so we're going to have to create a menu. Okay, theme options, uh, general options, main sidebar position. We could do left. But I would caution against that. So that, that's left. That looks a little weird. Uh, here's the reason. Normally you read from left to right. So if you want the content to be on the left and the sidebar to be on the right. And we're going to change this about. So we have recent posts. That's good. Search. That's good. Recent comments. Sure, that. Uh, gets people interacting. Archives, okay, categories, meta, eh, I don't know if I need the meta. And I think what I want, maybe between the search and the re recent posts, is going to be an advertisement of some sort so I can generate some potential ad revenue, maybe like five cents. Um, if you do hit and get a good blog, you can make some money off of it. All right, so this is the copyright. So we have the copyright down here, Cat One Cyclist. Okay, that that's fine. Um, and we'll have to change this because it's going to be HTTP. Um, it's going to be not Tim's. It's just going to be uh, Cat One Cycling dot com. This is dot local. So I'm changing the link. Okay, that's the ahref. Uh, is the link, but we're going to go in the code. I'm going to take off the credit, um, which is kind of okay. That's theme support. Enjoying the theme review on WordPress.org. I'm probably going to give this a good review. It's a very good theme. It's not just another WordPress site. Uh, it's kind of like my fun site about Cat One Cycling. So we're going to say uh, official site of the bear hunter that's a, a little joke so you see official site of the bear hunter okay a little joke with me and some of my cycling buddies and uh hope none of them get too worked up about it. it's just a joke uh it's just have fun okay so we could put an image in the header i don't really think we need one uh background image we could do that menus we need to work on widgets uh we're gonna take this off i don't care about that so that's gone. Okay. And let's see. Homepage settings. Um, we're going to do 
Uh, we're going to create some pages and additional CSS. Okay, so yes. So I'm going to inspect. Okay, I want to change this to a gray. All right, so right now that's the color. There's the CSS code. Let me get in there. Come on. And this is one. Okay, there we go. And I'm going to do uh, B4, 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 which is a gray. Okay, I want the gray. And then I'm going to copy all of this. Here. I don't know if I can. Okay, so I'm going to copy all of that. Okay, control C. Go into my additional CSS. Close that out. Copy that. Okay, boom. And I'm good. Okay. So now I've got that, that nice gray. I've got the hover effect. It turns blue. And eh, that's all right. All right. This link, let's inspect that. Uh, okay, we're just going to change every link, every link to the color of also B4, B4, B4. And see, now we have that link in it. It still highlights it, but it kind of has that nice black and white feel to it. Okay. At this point, I'll publish what I have so far in the customizer. All right, close that out. I want to um, make it look a little bit more professional. So I'm going into the editor. And this is saying, yes, you can totally mess this up. I understand. Doesn't matter. Um, we can just build a site in about two seconds. So if I mess it up, I'll just redo it again. Okay, so I'm going to take out the credits here. Boom, gone. Then I'm going to make. Uh, Use an HTML tag, which is P, that means parentheses, type in copyright, and then this gives me the copy symbol in HTML, and then it's 2018 is the year, and this is going to be cat1cyclist.com. I'm going to update the file. It's fun to update the file on the editor right now. As we move in, you want to harden WordPress as I make this live. So you're going to want to disable the editor. That's a different video for a different day. But if you want to know how to do it, just type in or Google hardening WordPress. And it makes it a more secure site. I'm going to open this link in a new tab and see what happened. Let's make sure. Look at that. That is gone. Okay. But there's too much space here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to inspect it. Okay, and font size, no, I want to go up to the container, and I'm looking through the CSS code to try and figure out um, site info inside site info. Might have to go all the way up to here. Okay, here we go. I'm going to take this out, right? Seven picks. Okay. And that gives me a very low space. I don't want, I want it to be a minimalist blog. Okay. I want to make it look classy. So I'm going to hit control C here and I'm going to hit the customizer. Okay. And then, okay. So then what I'm going to do is hit control V. All right. And I've got that in there and bam, it's like that publishing it. Okay, good. All right. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back to the dashboard. All right. And in the dashboard, I'm going to go to appearance and menus. Actually, no, I'm not going to do that. I'm going to create pages. So I'm going to add some new pages. And so I'm going to add out page, publish, because I'm going to actually add another plugin in a sec. And then, hmm, let's see what all pages I have. About sample page, I'm going to uh, trash that. Don't care about that. And then 
uh, add a new page. Call it home. Home page. Push that. And you know, maybe I'll now add another page. Hold on one sec. A blog page. Publish that. And maybe add um, a contact. I'll add a contact page. Publish that. I'm not sure I'm going to add this to the menu for this tutorial right now. Okay. And then your plugins. Let's add a new plugin. Call it Gutenberg. Install it. This is the new editor for WordPress that's coming out supposedly either this month or May. Probably not till May. I think they're a little bit behind. Coming out when WordPress 5.0 comes out. Supposedly, that's the rumors. I'm going to activate it. Okay. So now, one thing I was thinking of doing, I was going through this, and I'm like, you know what? I want it to be a blog, but I want like a front page. So it's mostly a blog. Uh, let me go back to my appearance, customize. Okay, blah, 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 blah. What am I going to do? I'm going to go to home page settings and then create a static front page. It's going to be home. And then my post page is going to be blog. And I'm going to click publish. Okay, I'm going to close that out. And then do that. Okay, the home is here. I don't want this stupid home thing saying being there. So I'm just going to do eight. Uh, okay, so I look this h1.entry title. You can see that on the left, I want to display none in CSS. So I'm going to hit customize, go to my CSS, do come down here, h, h1 dot entry, what is it, title? Okay, boom, boom, display none, gone. Okay, good. I don't want that there. It doesn't make it look as nice. Okay. It's all about styling a little bit, making the, the website look classy. This is the homepage. Let's edit it. And we're going to be editing in Gutenberg. Okay, what is my story? Hi, my name is Tim Unkert. I used to be a Category 1 cyclist. However, uh, my friends tell me that a Category 1 cyclist is always a category one cyclist sort of like how a category two cyclist who never upgraded to category one will never be a category one cyclist now this is a little bit of a joke between friends but whatever all right so i'm going to add a a photo let's upload one we go to their, my desktop folders and we're gonna click on cat one cyclist got some photos here um, all right I'm gonna say okay so we added one and I'm gonna say a photo of category one cyclists who are tough Wow maybe we can type that Wow Okay, now let's, uh, I'm being a little silly, but all right, all right. So to be a category uh, one cyclist, like the two people above, you must have uh, a perseverance. Uh, I did not spell that right. Well, I could look it up, but you must have a willingness <laughs> to succeed and a determination matched by no other 
And, you know, obviously I'm going to type something that actually makes sense. I'm just doing filler here. I could do Lauren Ipsum if I wanted to, but I'm just typing some filler. You must be tough. It's true. As a Category 1 cyclist, you must be tough. Let's add some more photos. Okay, so. Um, all right. Uh, what I'm going to do. Okay. And I put, in racing, you must be fearless. Okay. And you're taking that corner. Uh, I don't want that. You're taking that corner fearlessly. Uh, cycling requires you to be able to handle high speeds, high heart rates, and extreme suffering in the willingness or and the willingness to succeed. Now, this is just demonstrating Gutenberg. I'm typing a bunch of nonsense um, from from the racing days. Um, it's not really, it's just filler. Okay, I'm showing you how to build a website. So it's just filler. Um, and we're going to update it. Okay. One other plugin, that reminds me. One other plugin, and we're about 29 minutes, so we're going to run over. But it is what it is. Okay. Uh, one other plugin you will want to install. Is Yoast because that's going to help my SEO. So definitely you want Yoast. There's literally like 1.5 billion websites out there. So if you want to stand out or have any chance of standing out, you've got to maximize your SEO. And luckily, I know how to do that. So if you want to build a website through me through UnkertWebDesign.com, go ahead and I'm your guy because I know what I'm doing. All right. So let's see. I'm installing it. We're going to activate it. Come on, you're pushing me over. It's 30 minutes in. Thought I was there. But we still have to build an about page and maybe do a blog. A blog. All right, so I'm activating. And I'll show you what it does at the bottom. It actually helps your writing as well as SEO. So let's go back to the all the pages. Okay. And we'll go to home. Click edit. Here we got the silliness. All right, so we go down here and we've got we've got no keyword. So if I enter a focus keyword, let's do a focus keyword that one cyclist. Uh, we'll update it because the with well, the way the Gutenberg works with um, this, you kind of need to update. Okay, so we're we're getting an orange. We have a lot of problems, but it tells you all these things you need to fix. I've never used this focus keyword before. That's the only thing I'm doing good right now. But again, this is a demonstration. Readability is not good. I've got a few things here like my flesh reading ease. That I love that Yoast gives you that because this is a thing we use in education. To determine the difficulty of the text. And I'm going to be very honest. We try and get students, I, I'm not an English teacher, but we try and get students to be able to read more difficult text. That being said, if you want your blog post to succeed, you want to write to 7th, 8th grade level. There's numerous studies on this. It's a little sad, but it is what it is. Okay, and it also gives me problems. I don't have any subheadings. You want to break apart the the blog. This is important. Um, only 9.1 of the sentences contain a transition word or phrase. You want at least 30. Um, you don't want sentences that are too long. Okay. Uh, and you don't want passive voice, which is good. I'm not doing that. Okay. So this is a, a great plugin. Even I don't use it all the time for keyword, um, but I do use it a lot for readability. Um, which helps improve the writing. And you can manipulate your writing so you get all greens, which I've done several times before, but this is a quick demonstration. All right, keeping going. Let's, we're not adding new. I clicked add new. And that, that is why this is a raw build a website series because I'm going to make mistakes and I just keep going. I'm going to leave. Yeah, I don't want this new page. I've got enough. Let's go to about. Let's edit this. 
All right, and we're running into 33 minutes now. So let me tell my story. Hi, my name is Tim Unkert. I was a Category 1 cyclist for uh, like 15 years, which is higher than a Category 2 cyclist. Some of my results include... Okay, so what did I do? Uh, I was Let's do a list. This is another block you can do in Gutenberg, and it looks great. So I was number one in the United States for a three-month period for the old guys, um, 30 to 34 Masters Road Race category. Okay, um, I had a bronze medal in the national championships in 2001. These are all facts. Uh, I was fourth place in, I can't even spell place, place in the junior national championships in, now we want to clean this up, I'm not capitalizing anything, in 1994. Um, I was New England uh, time trial champion uh, in the juniors. That's high school age juniors um, in 1994. Um, uh, multiple state champion in Pro One Two, which is Pro Am uh, in Connecticut. Uh, and then numerous New England and state championship medals. Championship medals. And I'm doing this real quick uh, just to demonstrate. Um, what else? Okay. Over uh, 100 top five placings in Pro, pro 1 2 races. Okay, and then let's put a picture. So I'm going to click here. All right, let's add a picture. We'll upload it. Um, here's one from the national championships. Okay, so uh, getting the bronze at the national championships. Okay, so, you know, I did well as a cyclist. Now I'm fat and old. It happens. It happens. But anyways, so this is my site. I'm going to try and get back to fitness and win some races again. Um, so maybe I'll type that. Uh, I am fat and old now, but maybe I will get back into shape and win some races again. Okay. Let's update that. All right, so this is very intuitive. The the WordPress website, now, you know, I build like tons of sites. I'm, right now, I love building math sites. That's my thing because I'm a math teacher, uh, and I want to help students and help people learn. And there's a lot of cool plugins with that. I'm probably going to do a separate video on that because you can get quizzes and surveys and plugins. You really don't have to code. And then maybe I will do one on actual coding with PHP and the database, and creating that and creating quizzes. Um, okay, so let's, let's visit the site. I'm going to open another tab. I'm, I'm, I'm a tab person. So we have the home. Let's click on the about. Okay. So this gives me a little bit about myself. All right. Going back to the dashboard. We're going to add a post. All right. And we'll call the title, um, title height. Okay. And then I'll just, I'm just going to type something simple. Saddle height is important because it allows maximum power transfer to the pedals. Okay. And then let's see. Okay, I'll add an image. And this is a very, very short post. It's not going to rank well. It doesn't have enough content, doesn't have enough of that stuff. Uh, we'll take a photo from Pexels that I found. 
The guy has a good saddle height there in the photo. Okay, click publish. Publish it. And this is how it's going to show up. Let's go to, all right, let's go actually to the website. All right, blog. Uh, saddle height is important. So this has, it doesn't have a category yet. I didn't add any of that. Then you see it's there. Um, it has this. This is to the left. I may have to work on that to get that more centered. Actually, I don't really like it that far left. So I'm going to mess with it a little bit. It has this hello world that gets installed naturally. Um, I don't want default comments. So let's go back and take care of that. And we've got this floating bar here, uh, which you can show. Okay. So super socializer, uh, social commenting. That's what we want. Okay, we're going to just take off the WordPress. Boom, gone. Uh, click, go down to here, click Save Changes. And we're at about 40 minutes. Okay. All right. Visiting back the site again. Going back to the blog. Clicking on Continue Reading. And that one... I don't know. I'll have to work on that, that link as well. But, all right. So we go down to social commenting. It's only Facebook comments, which is what I want. I don't want the WordPress comments. But this is this is basically a tutorial of how to set up your blog. Okay. Uh, contact page. We'll have to do a contact form. That's going to be a different video because now we're in 40 minutes in and I've decided to stop. And that's part of the raw building your website series is sometimes I just get spent. Like I've done 40 minutes. All right. I'm done. Okay, so I hope this video is informative. I, I'm going to be doing videos every day on this stuff because it's something I'm passionate about. I love building websites, and I want to share that knowledge with people um, because you want to get your business out there as well. Um, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to export this. This will be the conclusion of the video. Uh, and we're going to export it to a file. And what's going to happen, we're going to download that file. I'm going to stop the video, and then you can import it. When you uh, go to your live version, you can import the file. And that will save all the work that we did here in the local site. It hasn't changed anything online yet. So you can work and build an entire site offline, make it instantly go live. So it's not messing with the SEO or anything. Uh, it instantly goes live, and it's good. Uh, there's so many things to talk about that you can do with WordPress and and, and So I'm gonna click download. I'm gonna download this and we'll go from there Okay, and with that I'm gonna stop the video and Call it a day. All right. Thank you for tuning in. Uh, I hope this was informative There's gonna be many more of these raw building a website videos to come where I just I just go at it and you're going to see me make mistakes and that's part of the, the kind of the raw thought process I'm, I'm doing with this is just going at it. Uh, you just have to push forward when you're doing anything in life um, and that's what we're going to do with these videos. So thank you for watching. Have a good night. Bye.